here, and today I wanted to talk about a little bit of the difference between a yacht and a boat. What are the differences between those? And I wanted to show you the most yachtish, 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 yacht part of my boat. So this is the most yacht-esque part of my whole vessel, the kitchen, otherwise in the boating world called the galley. The reason why I call it the most yacht-esque part is mostly because it has this really fancy, overly designed trash can, which is also full of trash. This is why I call it the most yacht-esque part of my vessel because something has happened. My sink has come loose. This part's supposed to turn, not that bottom part. So I've got to fix that. And you're gonna see what a pain in the butt it is to fix that. Calling my boat a yacht is about as valid as Kim Kardashian calling her butt real. It's not. It is a powerboat at its best, and there's not a thing wrong with that. In the past, a yacht was the top 10% largest non-commercial luxury pleasure boats in the world, and as newer, larger vessels were built, a vessel would lose its yacht title. Nowadays, we don't really go by that standard anymore. The word yacht, like a lot of words, has been denigrated into something less than what it originally meant, so more people can feel like they've accomplished something they haven't. This is very much like the whole everyone gets a reward thing. Nowadays, a yacht is mostly defined by its visual attitude. To very much so simplify what that means is, does it look like a fancy luxury boat? If yes, then it's a yacht. If no, then it's a boat. Here's some examples of boats that are considered yachts according to their outward appearance. It should be noted that while a yacht may be luxurious, it might not be comfortable. Luxury and comfort have nothing to do with each other. A good example of this is my vessel. She's not luxurious, but she is very comfortable. You might be wondering why I consider the trash can to be the most yachtish part of my vessel. Like most yachts, it's over-designed and nothing less than a luxury. In my experience, the overwhelming majority of yachts are very difficult to make minor repairs in my case, tightening up the faucet, I have to pull out this overly complicated trash can. There's also a fairly well-known negative view of, quote, those who tell you they have a yacht. I personally don't have anything against anyone who owns a yacht. I love all boating, but it is well known a lot of yacht owners are their own kind of special breed, and that many of them only know how to pay someone to make their boat work, and in reality have little to no actual boating experience or passion. Is this always the case? No, not at all. It's just a stereotype. I will say one thing though, that in all of my experience with those who who call their boats a yacht have one thing in common, and that is they have no perception of how uneconomical their solutions are for most people. I find them to be horrible to ask advice from. For instance, ask them what anchor to use, and they will probably show you the top of the line product, which will literally cost five to 10 times more than whatever the next step down would be, and they literally will tell you it's something you can't live without. Suffice to say, there's a reason there's a negative stereotype about yacht owners. Their boats are generally speaking nothing but a flex, and in general they can't help but brag, albeit intentionally or not. I always remind myself to look past that stuff as many of them are still really amazing and neat people. I also love their boats as well, I love generally speaking just about any boat. As a side note, I would really like to know and hear your opinions on yachts in the comment section. What do you consider a yacht? Now back to that most yachtish part of my vessel. I can now do my dishes without the sink falling apart. So as you can see, that is the most yachtish part of my whole vessel, the most over-engineered, overdone part that I built. The trash can. So until next time, this is Thor, signing out.